What's happening guys, it's Dan from General Tech HQ here and today I'm going to be comparing Apple's stock browser Safari with the very highly rated Google Chrome. Let's get straight onto it. There's an ongoing debate on which browser is the best out there but for sure on iOS the competition is between Chrome and Safari, which is Apple's stock browser, which comes built in on all iOS devices. But then again, Chrome is really easy to download for free on the App Store. So let's take a look at which really is the best. So let's open these two browsers up. And uh, the first impression for me is really, you know, Safari, you open up onto a completely blank page, but Google Chrome uses its intelligence and history integration um, to bring up your top eight visited pages because um, then you know the likelihood is you're going to want to go on one of them so this is one really really good thing and this can also be seen in the desktop browser also we're going to compare these two browsers on four things that I believe are really important in the browser firstly we're going to test the speed then personalization connectivity and appearance so let's start off with a speed test. So firstly, let's just take a look at the speed. I've just typed in the first bit of the BBC website. This is a UK website. And when we click onto this, we're going to see which one loads fastest. So three, two, one. And you can see there that without a doubt, Chrome had that covered. I mean, the speed on that was brilliant. So you saw there that Google Chrome tore up that speed test uh, when testing the websites there. It was a lot, lot faster than Safari. Um, now we're going to use uh, Google Images and search some images and see how quickly they load, especially the high quality ones. Okay, so now I've just um, typed in to find some HD images of a beach and we've come up with the same results as you can see on both Google Chrome and Safari. And now I'm just going to click on the first one and see which one loads first. And we can see there, interestingly, it was actually Safari this time to load this high quality image. Um, it did it quite a bit quicker than Google Chrome. So now for the deciding speed test, we're going to take a look at how quickly it loads a YouTube video. And uh, for this test we're going to use General Tech HQ's very own iPad mini smart cover review. And uh, we will click and see which one starts first. So three, two, one. It's Dan from General Tech HQ here, and today... And you can see there that the uh, Safari loaded that the quickest, and uh, it did do it quite a bit more than Google Chrome, so it's really, really good. Um, so that means that for the speed test, Safari is the winner. So now we're going to look at the comparison between personalization uh, between Safari and Google Chrome. So uh, firstly looking at Safari, uh, we do have an option to set bookmarks right here. It's not the most attractive or usable bookmark tool but it still is existent. We can also go to history using this and we can have some offline reading. However on the Google Chrome it feels like there's just a lot more personalization and feels like the browser is meant to be for you. So for example when we go to open a new tab it will give us our last or most recently used um, eight websites. These are the ones that we use the most. So what this does is it basically predicts uh, what we want to go on because the likelihood of us using one of these websites is quite high. So this is the eight ones that we use the most and then down here we've got recently closed you can see and uh, this is really really great. We've also got an option for bookmarks here and there's also the option to uh, link other devices. So for example, I've got um, Google Chrome linked up from my desktop to my iPad. So anything I search on my desktop will also come up um, on my iPad. So it's really, really great. So for me, Google Chrome wins the personalization. Now we're going to look at connectivity. And what I mean by connectivity is how it connects with the rest of the iPad and other social media sites. So as you'd expect, the Safari is Apple's stock browser, meaning that it will be connected internally to all the other iPad parts. Um, so for example, if we're on this website, we can easily share it on iMessage, Mail, Twitter, Facebook, 
and we can even add it to our home screen and print it. However, in Google Chrome, because it's just an app, we do have the option to share, but only on Google+, Mail, Facebook and Twitter. So in terms of sharing, Safari definitely wins. Into the final category now is quite a controversial one, because I suppose appearance is really just down to taste. But in my opinion, Google Chrome really does win this section, because the overall usage is just very, very smooth. And also, I really like the way that it's customised to new tabs, and you can uh, look at your most recent and most visited websites. It's just a really, really nice app to use. You just use one touch to navigate between. Whereas Safari, you have to touch individually, you can't swipe really as well, and uh, the new tabs uh, doesn't offer any personalisation. So in this category, appearance has to win on Google Chrome. So after analysing those four key areas, we've actually come to a tie. As speed was won by Safari, so was connectivity. However, personalisation and appearance was won by Google Chrome. So it is a tie. So now it's up to you. Comment below and tell me which one you use and which one you think is the best. Thanks a lot guys and remember to subscribe to General Tech HQ for lots and lots more Apple videos.